We're now going to check in with News 19's Sam Perez, who has more on the bond hearing for 58-year-old Rick Chow, the gas station owner who is now facing a murder charge, and the death of 14-year-old Cyrus Carmack Belton. Sam. Darcy, Andrea, I'm outside of the Richland County Sheriff's Department where Sheriff Leon Lott just gave that update. Now, according to deputies, this all came after the 14 year old Cyrus Carmack Belton was chased out of a gas station and shot by the owner, Rick Chow. Today, Chow went in front of a magistrate judge for his first court appearance. No recorded audio was allowed in the courtroom during the hearing at the Richland County Jail, which lasted less than 10 minutes. Chow and his attorney had no comment. Cyrus's family was in the courtroom, along with the victim advocate and representative from the family's attorney's office. The family also chose not to comment, but members of the community who live near the gas station are speaking up. I'm just heartbroken with the whole situation. Like, I really and truly am. This is, this is devastating. Leroy Hall lives near where Carmack Belton was shot. Overnight, law enforcement said the station was vandalized by protesters. It's really tore apart right now. You know, windows are blessed out. You know, they got open bottles, water bottles all over the places. And um, the signs that's on the windows, they are impactful, man. They, they, they make, really making a bold statement with it. A statement of anger and hurt over the young teenager being gunned down, shot in the back. Law enforcement says the owner believed Carmack Belton had stolen water bottles, which was not true. You hear, that, you hear stuff like that across the nation, but not here. You know, not, it really happens here. And to have it so close is, is even more frustrating. Andrew McLean lives near the station and tells me he's frustrated with another instance of gun violence affecting a young black man. I love to see the support for Cyrus, and I understand people are angry but it could have been a lot worse than that. With other residents like Jackson, who says he thinks there's a more effective way of dealing with the tragedy. There are other ways to get things done. You know, once you do stuff like this, it affects other people too. You know, It affects everybody else too. So I think the more productive way is let the courts handle it. Chow will appear in front of a general session circuit court judge at a later date who can determine bond. Reporting live in Richland County, Sam Perez, News 19 WLTX.